Hi, today I want to show you how you can group endpoints on curves where they don't have um, ordered numbers, how you can use it to resample the curve so they have correct order and why it matters and uh, some more examples. So a typical reason why orders on curves can be shuffled is because you try to fuse together two curves. So for example, this one and the same one just rotate it and when you merge it you can see the order when you fuse it you see now we don't have a we don't start with 0 and, and end with 18 it's it's just merged together so now now for example if you try to use the group range node it will only group the first point by number and the last point by number so this, this is not very helpful in a situation when you want the first and last point. So what can you do? Now the easiest way is probably to use a group expression node. Here's a preset called let me just copy this. Here's a preset called point balance. It will be something like this. You here you can specify the number and uh, it will group all the points by the neighbor count so which is like each point has some connections to other points and we know that the endpoints only have one one connection as you can see and on a curve it's it's super easy because every every point has either one or two connections otherwise it's not part of the curve uh, they can be some like L systems or everything where you have branches. Okay, you may maybe have more connections, but you always know that start and end will have only one connection. So you can you can play with this to get what you want. And uh, once you have this group, you you can use it to resample the curve by and uh, give it correct order and uh, why this matters is here we have here, here I'm gonna switch it to the unordered uh, curve now you see the points here, here's the zero which should be somewhere in here or here something like this zero and finishes with 18 and if we don't have that, you can see your path deform might, might not work. So it should be stretched throughout the whole curve. And so your sweep node maybe won't work correctly. But if you if you resample it, you'll get uh, correct behavior. So now let's see how you can uh, re reorder your points on the curve so once you have the start and end point you can blast them just use these two and now you see they always be just zero and one zero and one because you have only have two points so now you can split it you can uh, create an attribute and we will later transfer the that uh, copy this attribute so you uh, create an attribute. So let's say the start point, the zero point is as value one. Uh, don't use value uh, zero because that's the default. Other other points can have value zero. So you don't want to use that. You want to start with uh, one. And let's say the end point has a value of two. And now we merge them back together. And the before before we can copy it be sure to be sure to create your attributes that you can use to to match this point so um, so now you see like uh, this point is has an attribute of 9 because the point number is 9 here this one is 18 because it's it's uh it's point number is 18 and uh 
if if you if you would rely on the point uh, order on, on this this value he, once you, you know once you delete all of them suddenly the 9 becomes 0 and the 18 becomes 1 so that won't work but when you have this attribute stored in here you see you see we still have it and we still can use it to to match uh, match it when we to match the points when we are copying the attributes so we'll have this attribute we you have to do it at the start and uh, then once we have the start and end attributes on on these two points we can copy it to the original curve and we will match by attribute which is the pt num which we created at the beginning and we copy the attribute and now you see now you'll see like this point has the one type one attribute this one has the type two attribute and the rest is zero so remember if you would use if you would go if you would use zero in here it it will, will be hidden between all these zeros so you, you couldn't use it you wouldn't know but now we know that zero that point nine is the start and uh, point eight point eighteen is the end and uh, now we can go to find shortest path and the start points will say hey uh, if the type equals one that it is it is a start point and if it is an endpoint it's type two and now you see your points got ordered it might delete your your attributes from from the from the previous uh, curve so you might want to uh, copy them back to your curve if you need to so now you have a correct ordered curve and uh, as I said like before all of these things uh, that will work correctly now even something like you can use something like this and if you wouldn't have it ordered you see it, you will get uh, strange results maybe you can switch to another example so this is just a simple curve again with uh, different numbers and um, you can order it everything works fine or if you don't have it ordered you'll get uh, weird results and uh, one funny thing is if you notice okay in here we don't have the points ordered so here you see like zero one two three but if you go to subdivide it actually orders the points on a straight curve if we would switch it back to the to this curve it doesn't work because you see zero is here and goes there so that's funny that it uh, works on straight curves and also resample doesn't work on, on this kind of shape but with a straight line you can actually resample it like this too and that you'll get the correct order good and now let's say you have uh, multiple curves and you need to resample them so what do you do so that's actually fairly easy you also store the point numbers and uh, you create a connectivity attribute which will which will just uh, put an uh, integer the same integer number on uh, on, uh, basically split split uh, split geometry that is connected and uh, now we can use a for each loop and uh, the, I think the for each loop is identical to, to what we have before just the point numbers are outside the loop so again you group start and end 
split the two points split uh, 0 and 1 and create an attribute on them copy this attribute and use it to find the shortest path and uh, you can create some additional attributes and you have the correct behavior so if you disable the find shortest path you see it it doesn't work so that's how you can deal with uh, multiple multiple curves and uh, here's another fun example so um, this is for the most part basically the same as this but uh, with one difference that in now we in here uh, I don't think maybe if we look at the let me just disable this I don't think it matters where the where the start and the end point is so yeah see this is smaller than this this is sm smaller than this so basically the start of the curve is here here the start is here and uh, here the start is here so so they don't have start at the same same location now uh, it, it would be good in if in this example I have if all the all the curves would be beginning at near the sphere so I can have the tips outside so what I did was I created these curves and now I grouped the the roots I used the, the sphere inflated it a little bit and use this bound object points but this is only so I, bound, uh, I I use this to group points that are inside the sphere and uh, depending on your what you're trying to do you you might need to use other methods but this worked for me now I can uh, bend the curves uh, set some random length we uh, just to demonstrate the point uh, I think the the points were ordered so you know I, I sorted it just in case something happens and uh, your points aren't sorted just to show you that it, that it works and uh, again store, store the point number so this, this one is also for the most part the same as, as this one except that here in the here in, in the, the delete I didn't use like uh, zero so that would make the make the order random I, I wanted to start with the roots and I assigned uh, the attribute to, to to this point to the roots the one we grouped in the beginning so this will become my it will get the value one so I know it will be the start and the other one will be the end and uh, again copy it copy it by point number and now it gets the correct order and here I'm, I'm just Doing this kind of uh, sweep and in here I'm just uh, copying this sphere to the end of the tip to the tip end so I'm using this again to to uh, group the start and the end and I'm using a group combine and I'm subtracting zero from from these two points because uh, I don't want to put the uh, the point at the start I have a group for that obviously the root which we created in here but I can use it uh, but I I know that again I will have a start and an end and I can subtract the start to get the end point now I can copy the sphere 
and do it for all the curves and we'll get this kind of shape so now you can use for example a channel ramp you can make uh, the start more thicker and uh, you are you have a very safe way to control the thickness and the attributes and uh, yeah you can basically work work with the curves you have them ordered now and so this is how you can deal with uh, curves that are not ordered and how you can order them yourself and uh, work with them thanks for watching see you in the next one